So if you want to take something that looks like this and turn it into something that looks like this, stick around. I'll, I'll walk you through this light painting and, and that. And it's, it's really simple. It takes just a little light pen. It's like $8. An iPhone with an app. I have two torches. These torches are probably 100 years old from the 1920s. That's the main subject. We have a wooden block that is propped up on and essentially a cardboard um, backdrop. And that's it. And let's, let's get started. We're going to set up the camera, turn off the lights, and yeah, let, we'll get moving. We're going to actually start this out with um, moving left to right, actually. So we're going to start at the very top and work ourselves down a little bit, left to right. Kind of want to show this. We want a 45 degree angle light, essentially roughly right around in here. If we get too low, it looks a little unnatural. Too high, it looks a little too contrasty. So we're gonna work this through this first blowtorch, this piece. If you go a little higher, it makes a little bit more specular highlights, a little more contrasty. And that we're, we're gonna expose some of the board down below a little bit, but we're gonna keep a lot of that in the shadows add a little bit more of the mystery to to the photograph okay let me look over here yep that's that's exposed first torch first blow torch now we're going to work on the second one and i'm going to concentrate really on this middle piece that's where the light's going to be the you know the, the brightest i think they call it the angle of incidence or angle of reflection and yeah that that's going to be a more natural look to this right in here right in the middle of course we're going to smooth all this out i want to get the handles obviously get these handles and then get this other piece and there's there's kind of three to four parts to this photograph one is is the reflections on the cans that i have to work on little shiny spots, the contrast and the highlights, and also the depth. So there's this little handle here, there's a little notch up front that I wanna highlight, make sure that, and I'm gonna expose a little bit of the board as well, um, just to kind of give it some depth. So we have, you know, one, two, three, and then the backdrop will be four, and that, uh, that will kind of work its way. Okay, we're starting to get, definitely getting the second one lit up. So it's kind of across the board. This is, this is pretty good. And let me look at this. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely illuminated. So we are on to the backdrop now. Let's, let's look at the backdrop. I'm gonna go from left to right again. There's a sun coming in 45 degree angle. We need to look at this and let's get on this kind of a sunlight. I'm using a brown backdrop because I kind of want to try to see if I can get a little rust color into the foot, a little brown in that, but we'll see. We'll see. Sometimes this iPhone application doesn't work as expected with colors. And you can see it kind of coming in now. The backdrop starting to light up and we're gonna we're not gonna totally expose everything we're gonna have a little bit of vignetting going on again add to the mystery a little bit um, that's the thing with these photographs guys everybody wants a well illuminated well lit photograph but let me go check this out it's coming in everybody wants a well well illuminated photograph but when you look at it it there's no mystery to a lot of these photographs it's a nice clean photograph but sometimes keeping things in the shadow keeps your mind active when you're looking at a photograph so let me see all right that looks good yeah so we have we have quite a bit of a little mystery pieces aren't showing all the way down on the board a little bit and 
we have the handles. So your eyes kind of go from here to here, to this handle, to this specular highlight, to this piece, to this handle, along with a little bit of the board. And then of course we have the backdrop that that's getting uh, illuminated as well. Kind of give it a little more depth. Check this out. I might have some, yeah, I have some smoothing out to do, obviously. I'm going to lighten a little bit of all this up now that I have the main pieces in place. Yeah, it's this thing. It goes fast at first, but then you have to start being careful and just kind of smoothing out, taking a look, checking back, checking back and lighten things up a little bit. All right, a little better. A little bit better and work through this in these nooks and crannies you kind of want to get again you want to get the light where it would be a kind of a natural lighting source and not up under actually underneath the subject to where it looks a little too much HDR it looks like well, that, that where's that light coming from sometimes it can look nice but you got to realize that if you get too much of that under reflection, too much of those highlights that everything is just exposed and it just doesn't look natural. Your eyes are kind of freaked out by it. So again, 45 degrees up high should do the trick. Let me check this. Yeah, that's, that's coming in real well. That is good. We just got a little bit more polishing and then Looking at the photo, it's a little less, I guess the colors don't really pop. I'm going to punch up the colors, punch up the contrast, raise the shadows just a tad. This is one of those photographs that if you have it too bright, everything's exposed, it just loses, it just falls apart. So you kind of need, you definitely need things in the shadows and you need a little punch. These handles, these red handles, we'll try to get them highlight it up and get some contrast look at this yeah that looks that looks good so let's turn back on the lights I'm gonna stop the exposure I'm gonna stop the exposure and yeah we're going to turn on lights stop this and save things off and let's talk and give a wrap up okay finished up I'm gonna roll the whole composition at 25 times speed, what the image, what was captured with the whole light painting sequence. And then I'm gonna show you the end result. We're gonna bump up the saturation, contrast, some of the light, push that image to the way I want it to be. Yeah, and this is all done with an iPhone, it's pretty cool. So if you're into light painting or studio photography, you know, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. And yeah, probably see you guys next week.